Hi, good day. I just want to demonstrate my uh, this little script I've written. It's called The Artist's Friend, and uh, as it implies, it's for helping artists to actually get accuracy in their in their paintings or drawings or whatever. So I'm using a. Uh, I'm going to use a picture from a guy called uh, Jeff Reinhardt. Good day, Jeff. Um, on the Learning Portrait Painting Facebook page. And uh, Jeff did this very good acrylic painting of, uh, of his friend. It uh, looks to be pretty accurate and uh, I love his style, so that's, that's really good. So I asked Jeff's permission to use this picture for my little demonstration. So I downloaded this picture and the original. And um, where, where's my downloads? So his, his painting, I cropped it to the size of the canvas because all that is useless area, space. And then I used this plus the original in my my little script. So here we are back in the artist's friend. So right now you can see the original. And underneath that is his painting. And I've made various adjustments using the script. So I can see these, uh, the painting and the original overlapping. And as you can see, he's pretty spot on. Well done, Jeff. Excellent. So I'll just show you how we got there. So I'm going to reload the script. So what you do in the artist friends, you get the original photograph and you get the copy and then you can do these various things with it. So I'm going to get the the photo, the original. And now I'm going to get the copy that I've previously cropped so it's more like the same dimensions as the original. Now as you can see it's slightly bigger. So you can do, there's a bunch of functions over here, eventually will be overlapping because you want to see how accurate your painting, drawing, or whatever it is. Um, all, most of these functions, they operate on your painting. So you can fade your painting. The, un, the fade is you go click, click, click to reduce it, to fade it. The unfade just does it automatically with one click you can rotate it because sometimes people take photographs and they're not really in the right orientation so you can rotate it if required you can uh, a separate tool really is to flip you can flip them both and that will allow your brain to see that image both images totally differently um, so you're activating the right side of your brain. There's a very good book called uh, Drawing on the Right Side of Your Brain that explains how you see and how to draw properly. So, um, now the toggle function I will show you in a minute. So let's look at these two pictures. This is bigger. 
So I'm going to reduce the size as best I can by eye. So I think looking at the bottom of the uh, of that beard it seems to be maybe a little bit too small now. Anyway, I shall overlap the two. And now I will fade the top one and you can see I hope you can see that if you looking at the rim of the glasses you can see that they're offset. Now using either the keyboard or the mouse to click these buttons you can then align it better. So at this point in time it's a matter of juggling because I don't know if you can see uh, this a gap there on that frame. Now I don't know whether that's due to the fact that the size is not right or it's an error of uh, Jeff. So let me let me concentrating at, on aligning these two here. Now at this point in time I might toggle and toggling will give you a better idea of the relative sizes of the images. So looking at that I suspect I have reduced his copy and made it a bit smaller than it should be. So I'm going to enlarge that a little bit and doing that tends to offset it slightly but it's looking better. The less change that the, you're picking up in your eyes the more accurate it is. So we don't need to do any rotation. Let's fade to see how things are lining up. Um, okay, let's concentrate on that, this eye, get that frame right. Now I'm looking at that beard. I still think I've made, possibly made the painting a bit small. Okay, we could be mucking around for, for some while doing this. But by fading it I can see it's pretty much lining up pretty good. There's some variation there. So let me just enlarge that just to touch. Okay, well you can see that you can play around, but let's just analyze his picture. And you can see that they're pretty close to being lined up and you can, by toggling it, you can see Jeff's errors. It's a very good painting and I'm sure um, his friend will be more than happy with it. That hat seems to be, when I toggle, seems to be just about perfect. The beard looks to be pretty perfect. The nose is not moving. So the only thing that seems to be moving slightly, and we're only talking slightly, this eye looks absolutely perfect. This eye is moving slightly. His left eye is moving very slightly. So if Jeff was interested in changing it, I wouldn't bother myself because I think it's a pretty good damn painting. 
um, that eyebrow which is crossed by the frame is a little bit high but uh, everything looks pretty good the beard here could probably perhaps be brought out a little bit um, the unfortunate thing about especially commissions is that all these very slight variations they're very obvious to somebody looking at one of their loved ones they know their faces intimately um, so you as a professional artist you would want to try and fix up every tiny little wrinkle but uh, Jeff, thank you very much for allowing me to use your, your painting as a demonstration. Uh, it's a very good painting and um, I like it. Thanks very much.